fit siempre. Billy, what did you make of that performance today? Uh, that it was a really strong performance today, for sure in these circumstances. So um, it was not a surface where we can play uh, our normal football, what we train every day, what uh, what the lads have, have shown uh, last couple of weeks or months. So we had to adapt. Um, but the team is ready for that now. Uh, we had uh, a few practice games in that way, like Dumbarton, St. Mirren. Uh, in really difficult circumstances and they understand now we need to play a, a different kind of football. In those moments, if you have that kind of surface and, uh, and we did in a, in a really good way today uh, with a dominant performance, um, there was never a doubt in the game. I think we even didn't get one shot on, on target against. So uh, scoring three goals could have been more. Um, yeah, it's really pleasing. Also, Starting with 11 players, but all the guys who come in, they give something extra to the team. They give the extra energy. They give the extra quality in that moment. And uh, and you see the team growing. And extra points, new players coming in, getting more minutes, showing quality also. Uh, Dio was even man of the match today. Oscar was it last time, I think. So those are also really important things. And you see they're, they're settling in really fast because the dressing room is a really nice environment to come into and uh, all the boys are helping the, the new guys to settle in really fast. So yeah. that's also a really pleasing thing. There's a lot of expectation they seem to be, they must be pleased with the way that they handled that and they don't allow the external noise to sort of affect them. Yeah, we're, we're really busy with that because it's of no use. We're just focused on ourselves and uh, we will continue in that way uh, the next weeks and the next months. It's the only way to be successful. and. Uh, and the players understand really well. Phil, you said your, your players have a series of challenges since, since you arrived, you know, obviously clawing into Celtic's lead being one of them. You've done that now. Is the next step for this team, having got themselves to the top of the league, to, to obviously try and stay there now? Is that a different challenge? Does it present a different no, challenge? No, we're not, we're not looking at that. We, our challenge is to, to be every week better, every month better. Not every game you can be better, that's impossible. Mm. But we try to do that. To uh, to develop as individuals, as a team, to become better, to adapt to, to circumstances, to get experience together. My best time as a player was in a team when we played two years, three years together. Because you learn out of experiences, good ones, bad ones, you become better because you grow. And that's what we are doing as a team, to, to get experiences. Maybe if we wouldn't have had the Dumbarton game uh, in the cup, it would have been more difficult today. So you learn out of every experience and, uh, and the guys are really, for the moment, like a sponge, getting all the information inside and, and doing the right things with it, what we ask. So uh, that's a good way. So this is what I want. This is what I'm going to be really tough on also, that I want to see an uh, ambitious team who wants to become better and better and not looking at others, just uh, at ourselves. Is it, is it, is for James today, the, the second of which took, took him on to 120 goals for this football club, it's a remarkable return for a, for a right back. It's crazy amount of goals. It's really crazy as a fullback. I don't know if there was ever a defender scoring more goals in Scotland or even in Europe. So... Uh, he has a lot of qualities doing that, but not only with penalties, because he scored also important other goals, like in, uh, in the Cup Final, for example, the <laughs> League Cup. And he's doing a really good defensive job, because in the first place, he's a defender for me, not an attacking player. So he's not busy with uh, statistics to play for himself, but he's playing for the team, like they all are doing. In terms of his leadership qualities, what impresses you the most about the way he, he leads this team? No, I, I'm happy with Tev. Uh, he was the first player I talked with. It's also the normal way. If you come into a building and you know the fire is going on, I wanted to see how to stop the fire as fast as possible. So I wanted to get all the information. It's normally you'd speak first with the, with the captain about that. And he was really open and honest about all things in the club, in the dressing room, about himself also. So that was a really important step. And... He feels good also with there's a divided leadership in this dressing room. 
with uh, several players who take responsibility, but they have a really good connection together. So that's important also. If you're all alone, you can be uh, alone in the desert. Now he has a few, uh, uh, how you say this, attendants? No. Lieutenants, Lieutenants uh, around him that uh, help also and are also really influential. So it's important to have that so as a coach. It's always the beginning for the squad, this team. It's never just the beginning of the club. No, yeah, okay, beginning is, is maybe uh, exaggerated, but uh, for sure we can, we can grow a lot. If I see how they are playing now, uh, these last weeks and, and four months ago, we cannot speak about the beginning because that was the beginning, but there's still uh, a lot of room for progression. Um, it's clear, they are, all are growing also these last couple of months uh, without exception. So, uh, yeah, we're going to invest a lot with all staff in them and they invest also a lot in themselves and in the group by, because every day everybody is super focused, hardworking. So I didn't have any problem with that in these four months. That's the first time in a team that I never had to smack somebody who's not focused <laughs> anymore or, or, or not motivated. So no, uh, it's a really important thing. But they all feel that they are in a special story and that it can be a really special story what that you feel. What will, the, what will the goal be for Amherst Conference? And is, that, is that the position that you see it be, be best utilised? No, I, I told you guys he can play in the three positions in midfield. Um, we had a lot of talks with him about that. Uh, I want also to know players really well before they come into the building. So I want players who are available for the team who don't only come to play their own game or their own position. And uh, Dio can play, play the three positions in midfield with a, without a problem. But it's good for him, uh, of course, to, to feel directly really good in the team. But it's because of all the people around him also. It's about Connor and John speaking a lot and Lonnie speaking a lot with him. It's about players in front of him who are available. To, to receive the passes, it's, it's about the connection together. And he adapted really fast because the, the other guys are helping in that way. Really good. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.